So if you guys watched my video about converting the Daybright IS-232 fixture to F40T12, you may have heard me mention that my dad and I are cleaning out our garage. Well, this is the aftermath of that. It's still not 100% clean. In fact, there's even some stuff sitting out on the driveway that we had to move for what we're doing today. But we're pretty much cleaned up here. We bought a trailer actually a couple months ago and we were able to throw a lot of the stuff that was out here into the trailer. So now this place is much more cleared out. But you may be asking, what are we gonna be doing now? Well, we're actually gonna be doing a little bit of remodeling to this place. There's a few things that we want to do in order to turn this into a workshop for me to work on my lighting stuff. So the biggest thing that we wanna do is we're going to put a wall here, coming down here, and then another one over here to close off the laundry area so that my mom can have her own laundry area and there will be some storage for the pool stuff in here too. So this will be its own room when we're done. And then this area will be the garage. So of course you won't be able to have cars in here anymore but it's not as if we don't already have our cars sitting out on a driveway. The other things that we're gonna do uh, is we're going to be messing with some electrical stuff. We're going to add some more lighting, add some more outlets, stuff like that. We're also gonna be building a workbench and a bunch of storage out here for all this stuff that you see here. This is all my stuff that I moved out of my bedroom. And then the last thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be repainting these walls and doing some touch-up and stuff. And that's going to be basically what we'll be doing for our remodel here in the garage. But before we get into what we're doing in this episode, if I just show the lighting that's currently in here real quick. So you have these two strip lights here. Just these two on the ceiling. These came with our house and are original to the house, which was built in 1989. And these fixtures, of course, were originally F40 T12 rapid start. But we converted these a couple years ago to F32 T8, as you can tell. So now those are F32 T8 lamps. Just so we can get some more brightness out of these fixtures because of course those T12 ballasts were very worn and we even used high ballast factor ballasts in these fixtures. So now these are way brighter than those old T12 fixtures. And these fixtures actually have program start ballasts in them. I'll give you a little bit of a start up here. Program start chose that because we turned these lights on and off so much. So those are the strip lights that are in here right now. And then there's also just this random flush mount fixture over here above the laundry area. And what I want to do with the lighting in here, of course we'll move these strip lights over here because there will be a wall here. I have two wraparounds down there. Probably put one in the laundry room and one over there for where the door is. And then an idea that I just had today, not sure how this will go, but I kind of want to put four eight foot swimline fixtures here and those will be on their own switch for when you want a little bit more light. So that's kind of my idea for the lighting in here. But that's not going to be happening for another couple weeks. But now let's get into what we're doing today. 
So today, we are going to be starting the framework for the wall in the laundry room. So we went to Lowe's earlier today, and we got all of this wood. This is 26 pieces of wood, eight feet long each. I think some of these we're gonna cut up and some will stay eight feet. Also got some screws. And this is one of those cases where you buy something that you already have because I can find them. I don't know where they went, but we have another package of these that we already had. So yeah, totally didn't need to buy those. And then the last thing that we bought today, you might have already seen it, is this door. This is the door that's gonna go on this wall that's gonna go here so you can enter the laundry room. So this is a pretty wide door. This is 36 inches wide, 80 inches tall. So, You'll be able to get the washer and dryer out real easily if you need to. So that's good. So that's what we bought today. And I think the first thing we're going to need to do is actually take down this light because it's going to be in the way. All right, we removed the strip light here and we just kind of capped off the wire so it'll still work. Kind of funny because you can see the imprint of where it was. That's been there for 30 years for sure. And here's the fixture with the T8 program start ballast, of course. And the cover for it. And then these are the lamps over here. And as you can see, the other fixture works perfectly fine even without this one here. So we'll still have some light in here at least. Okay, so this first section is finished. This is eight feet long and eight feet four inches tall. And this is gonna be the first section for going here. And then we're gonna make a four foot section and then another eight foot section for the last part, but that's gonna have to have the door frame. So. We'll figure that out. All right, it is several hours later and we've assembled this second portion here, which is four feet. And then we attached it to this section and neither of these are installed correctly quite yet. So we ran into some complications. So originally, we thought that the boards in the ceiling went that direction. Well, in fact, they go that direction. Well, actually they go this direction up to there or thereabouts, and then they switch for some reason. So now we're finding that we're gonna have to bridge over from the stud, which is where those two screws are. And for now, we're just gonna put some little short pieces in between to secure it for now and then when it gets colder out we will go up in the attic and do it properly but well, we'll pick back up on this tomorrow because it is about to rain here so can't really continue today All right, well, it's been another day here and we made some progress. So the last time you guys were here, we installed these two portions of the wall right here. And today we made this portion and we installed it over here. It was a little bit of a problem because there was this light here and there was too much stuff in the way and it was pretty hard to maneuver it in. And then the ceiling's actually caving in right here. You know, it's 30 years old, so it's gonna do stuff like that. And it was a pretty tight fit, but my dad got it 
seated eventually. And of course we have the opening for the door here. It's a little close to the wall, but I guess it'll work okay. And originally we were gonna have it open out into the garage, but now we're gonna have it open into the laundry room. That's a much better idea. And yeah, the lighting's still terrible in here. This is like it was a little over two years ago when we um, originally bought this house and this light was not working. But of course we fixed that after a few months. Well, next week we are going to install the drywall onto the laundry room wall. So that'll be pretty fun. And then I guess we'll move on to painting and do some electrical work and all that stuff. So stay tuned for the next episode. Bye for now.